I built a bladeless drone that I think is one of the safest in the world, says the author of this homemade device. The four legs of the construction are ducts, and the fifth and shorter one is a parachute can. It's made of balsa wood and carbon fiber, and all the electronics were bought online. At the core of the drone is a DJI flight controller. The design was so successful that the author managed to patent his invention. However, there are some disadvantages. According to one commenter, the noise alone makes the drone ten times scarier than usual. However, bladeless drones are becoming pretty popular. This one even made it to the prestigious Red Dot Award design competition. Here's something even cooler, a homemade trike. This is a replica of the rather famous Campania T-Rex from Canada. Some websites call this bike the grandfather of modern analogs. The T-Rex is able to reach 140 miles per hour. However, the self-made model goes pretty fast as well. You can ride it at 50 miles per hour thanks to the Kawasaki ZZR 1200 engine which produces about 155 horsepower. In addition, the author has recorded a bunch of videos about the process, so anyone who wants to build something similar may well bookmark the entire series. What can be cooler than a trike? A hovercraft. As the author writes, he improvised and built one without a clear plan, so it's only logical that it took him about 1800 hours to complete, but it was worth it. The vehicle easily accelerates to 36 miles per hour with three people on board. It can take you and your friends on a fishing trip, to the beach or anywhere else, first on land and then on water. Surprisingly, this is the second hovercraft by this craftsman, and according to some YouTube users, it looks better than many commercial versions. Who would have thought that a simple plumbing tool could be used to make a powerful air gun, one viewer marvels. This is a PCP version, which means that it requires a cylinder pre-filled with compressed air to fire. These models are considered more reliable compared to break-action rifles, and are used not only for recreational shooting, but also for hunting, as they're rather quiet. In addition, this self-made model shoots practically like a crossbow and uses these arrows. However, the author does not have many fans. Maybe you should build something bigger and more powerful. The craftsman has built his own mini ground effect vehicle. The 20 foot miracle of engineering is capable of lifting a person. According to the author himself, he is going big with this project. Turns out it's a lot like building a model, just easier. The homemade vehicle passed different tests successfully, which delighted the viewers. I hope that someone will be inspired by this to launch the project on Kickstarter, writes one of them. But the best part is that one of the sponsors of the project is Flying Ships, a company that develops green ground effect vehicles. They're estimated to be 30 to 50% more efficient than conventional aircraft of the same size. Maybe the company has already picked up some ideas, or is this just a marketing ploy? Do you know what the American company Radio Flyer is known for? This major toy manufacturer, founded in 1917, once produced a red toy wagon that became so successful that even during the Great Depression they still produced about 1,500 a day. The little red wagon has been in countless commercials, games, and movies, and it's also popular with DIYers. A typical upgrade of the wagon is on your screen right now. It's a racing modification, reminiscent of a go-kart. However, people in the comments recommend adjusting the camber angle of the front wheels to make the wagon go even faster. Right, we got 25. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, BB-8 appeared in the Star Wars universe to replace the old R2-D2. 
BB-8 is also an astromech droid, but more maneuverable thanks to its round body, and it's also easier to make one by yourself. The expert from the video didn't use a 3D printer, not to mention CNC, milling machines, or other stuff. Thanks to this approach, the budget was only $120 less than many commercially available BB-8 toy models. The scale of the robot is one-to-one, -one, and you can control it right from your smartphone. The author of the project felt generous and posted a huge instruction manual on Instructables.com. Ten episodes later, how to make an Iron Man suit from things at the dollar store, users joked. Sometimes unsuccessful homemade projects are not a waste of time and effort, but a springboard to something more awesome. Here's an example. This craftsman was making a detail for a costume inspired by the Halo universe, but he never finished it. However, the work came in handy and turned into these stilts, which anyone can make at home. All the necessary information on materials and other things are available on Instructables.com. The budget is $100 to $200. The weight of one stilt is 8 pounds, and they were tested by a volunteer weighing 200 pounds. The first person to build these stilts will get a nice bonus. If they post a video, they'll get an annual premium subscription to the account of the DIYer. There are a few times at Orchard Street where I stumbled a little bit. While some tuning specialists like power, others upgrade their cars with creativity. And this is even cooler. There are dozens of Mustangs with powerful engines, but you won't find another walking Jiguli out there. This unique car is a project of the Garage 54 team. The legs work thanks to a crank. It pushes the linkages, which then move the levers. It works, but you shouldn't expect any decent speed from the vehicle. Besides, it tilts forwards. But is speed so important when you're driving such an unusual vehicle? There's no way that I can afford a Boston Dynamics robot, but hell, a very affordable larder-based robot is way cooler anyway, some users say. This is another project by the same team. This time they tinkered with the tires. With a bunch of bottle caps, they managed to create this studded wheel. They're fastened as usual with self-tapping screws. And don't worry about the inner tube, because there's an additional protective layer. Two wheels required 600 caps, 1200 screws, and a lot of screwdriver work. But during the test drive, it turned out that even the broken caps improved traction. So maybe it's a one-time idea, but it's a lot of fun. Relaxing in a hot tub is nice, but too expensive. The price of some models easily reaches $3,000. And apart from that, you need to transport the purchase to your home and install it. Isn't it easier to build your own version? This craftsman decided to do exactly that to please his family. The structure is built on a plastic tank, which is beautifully and functionally finished with wood. But the coolest thing is that the water is heated with a wood stove. If you try hard enough, you can probably have a barbecue at the same time. The stove also produces spectacular puffs of smoke, allowing your friends to unmistakably find the place. My family enjoyed their first hot tub under the December stars last weekend, and it was totally worth it, said the craftsman. As we know, Elon Musk has already set a date for the start of the expedition to Mars, 2029. In the meantime, we can dream about blooming gardens on Mars while assembling a Mars rover. This model can be built by everyone, especially since the author put a link to the list of parts you'll need in the description of the video. A 12-volt battery, six motors, one for each wheel, a remote control, and a lot of PVC pipes. At first, the assembly looks more like something a plumber would do, but then it gets more interesting, and the resulting robot has no problem overcoming a variety of obstacles and even climbing ladders. What happens if you get inspired by Tony Stark and James Bond at the same time? You might end up creating a laser watch like this. It's powered by LiPo batteries designed for drones. 
The laser power is 1500 megawatts and is capable of lighting matches, so you should use special safety goggles. Plus, the author not only offers to make science fiction into reality, but also kindly gives links to components, drawings, and files for 3D printing. However, people in the comments ask for something with a little more power, like Cyclops' visor from X-Men.